minutes. Rick. Abby, thanks. April 11th is the 50th anniversary of the 1965 Palm Sunday tornadoes, a, a day that those who lived through it will never forget. Now, today is another tornado anniversary, and part of that storm impacted our area. WSBT 22 First Alert meteorologist Ed Russo looks back at the 1974 outbreak. The super outbreak of April 3rd and 4th, 1974 was one of the worst tornado outbreaks in U.S. history, and one of the strongest tornadoes of that day moved right through northern Indiana. For the longest time, the 74 outbreak was at the top of the list until the April 25th to 28th tornado outbreak from four years ago that included the well-documented Tuscaloosa, Alabama tornado. The super outbreak of 1974 spawned 148 tornadoes within a 24-hour period, killing 335 people. One of the most destructive tornadoes moved through northern Indiana. The tornado began southwest of Monticello, strengthening to F4 status before weakening. It regained F4 strength as it passed Rochester, approaching the town of Talma. The tornado weakened again before reaching F4 strength for a third time over southern LaGrange County before finally dissipating. After it was done, it cut a path 109 miles long. A total of 16 people were killed across northern Indiana, including six in Fulton County and one in Kosciuszko. This same outbreak also spawned the well-photographed and documented F4 Parker City, Indiana tornado just east of Muncie. While this outbreak was not as significant in our area as the 1965 Palm Sunday tornadoes, it was the largest tornado outbreak in U.S. history when it happened. Also, there have been 59 tornadoes rated F5 since 1950, seven of which occurred during the April 3, 1974 outbreak. I'm First Alert Meteorologist Ed Russo reporting for WSBT.